everyone. So I'm finally back on my YouTube. I feel like um, I fell off it a little bit. I didn't really know what I wanted to film and I didn't really know kind of what I was doing really, I don't know. But because I've been at home for quite a long time now, obviously we are in lockdown. Um, so I thought what a perfect time to kind of get back onto it and show you what I'm up to really. Um, so yeah, I'm just in my new office. If you follow me on Instagram, which I'm guessing you probably do, you would have seen that I have got a new office room, which as you can see by the boxes, it's still a work in progress. Um, but it's a really nice space for me to just work and kind of just switch off a little bit. Um, it's really clean and white and minimal and yeah, it's just a really nice space to sit and work in really. Um, so yeah, I've got you propped up a little bit badly. So I'm just going to move it over. There we go. Um, so yeah, we just got back from a walk. It's four o'clock and um, I've just come back into the office. I've just got a jug of water with some lemon in because I'm really bad at drinking water. And I usually have a water bottle, but I feel like with this, I drink a little bit more. I don't know. But um, yeah, I thought I'd just start the video here and just have a little chat for a bit. Um, I am going to be showing you my bedroom, which I've recently started decorating. Um, it's not finished at all. There's still loads of things I want to get, but I just can't find the right things. And yeah, I'll show you it all when we go in there later. But I thought I might as well show you because I know loads of you want to see it and... So I'm gonna show you that. I'm also gonna do like a little nighttime routine um, and just kind of do my skincare and show you some new products that I'm loving and just kind of show you what I do in the evenings really at the moment. Um, usually from four o'clock, I kind of stop working um, just because I get up really early. So I usually start working sometimes at like half seven. <laughs> um, I don't know why really, I just, like getting up early um so yeah sometimes I start working really early so I usually tend to finish work at four but today I'm just doing a little bit of research for a project and I've got a shoot this week so I'm just saving some kind of like inspo for that on Pinterest um and yeah that's it really I'm just gonna do this for the next probably like hour or so and then I'm gonna have my dinner and then I will be ready for my kind of like evening wind down routine so then I will show you what I do basically. But yeah, this I'm literally wearing the worst outfit. Um, we went out for a walk, so I changed out of the dress that I was wearing today. I'm wearing this really old t-shirt. I actually have no idea where this is from, but it's so old. And I'm wearing my favorite jeans, I'll show you them. They are from H&M and they've got the little white label on and they're just these like straight leg baggy jeans they're really comfy they're my favorite ones um and yeah all my outfits are linked on my um, blog so I've got shop the Instagram and that's where I link kind of everything that you see on my Instagram page that'll be linked there so whew, that was a lot of talking so yeah I will see you um when I'm finished working okay I'm in my room oh what's that um, I'm just going to do a really quick overview of my room. Um, this isn't like the proper room tour because it's not finished at all and there's still things I want to do. So I'll just give you a quick overview of like some new bits that I've got and stuff like that. And then when it's totally done, I will do a full video in detail of everything. So let's kind of go. The area of where you walk into my bedroom. Um, this is kind of like a little walkway. And then my wardrobes are here. Um, these are just all my dresses. I'll just show you because they're really nice. Color order, all my dresses there. Um, and then this little area, I like to just have little corners around. I don't know why, I just really like them. So 
I've just got a few bits on here. This is from H&M Home. It is actually sold out now, but I will link some similar ones. I use this for my breakfast in bed and stuff like that. And I've got a couple of books. And these gorgeous flowers Jack got me for my birthday. Um, obviously, I don't live with him, so we're not in lockdown together. But um, he bought me some fake flowers so that they'll last for such a long time. And they're absolutely beautiful. I love them. Um, so, yeah, this is actually full of all of my hair products. So I think that's quite a handy way because I just kind of drag that in front of my mirror and then I can do my hair properly, even though... I haven't done my hair properly for such a long time. Um, I've got a mirror here, which you've probably seen on my Instagram before. Um, and then these chest of drawers. You might remember I used to have the Ikea mom drawers, two of them here. But um, I actually used to have this in my old bedroom, which is now my brother's room. Um, and I had it when I was like 11, I think. Um, and it's really, really old kind of like vintagey looking. I've carved my name into it when I was about 12. And you know, it's really old. It needs sanding down. It's quite grubby. I want to paint it and I also want to get some new um, handles, but I can't find the right ones and I don't know what color to paint it yet. So I'm gonna just put that on pause for a bit. But I really like how this kind of looks up here. Um, I hate this, but I can't get rid of it because that's how I watch TV. So just ignore that. Um, I've got some books here, some of my favourite books, favourite magazine, Rush, I absolutely love. These cotton, dried cotton thingies are from H&M Home, and so is this candle. I have a lot of H&M Home in here. Um, also, so I had quite a few wires coming down from my TV, and my dad put up this bracket. It's just like a white bracket, and it just means that your wires are hidden and they don't look as messy, which is quite a good tip. My lamp, I actually get loads of questions about this lamp, which is so random because the base, so this marble bit is from Tesco's and um, the lampshade is from Dunelm. So I actually, it did have a grey lampshade on, but I changed it out for the black one. Um, another candle from Diptyque. I love this one. It smells so nice. It smells like male aftershave. Um, okay, then this corner, I've got a little chair. This is my H&M home chair. H&M Home Blanket, and then I'm getting a print created by this incredible artist. Um, so what I'm gonna do is when everything's in the room and stuff, I will do another room tour, but all these things will be updated on my Instagram as well, more frequently. I just put my bag there because I got some hooks from leftover pictures, so I just thought I'd put that on there. My curtains, so I actually have two pairs of curtains. I've got these white ones, and then I've got these more kind of linen ones, um, oat, oatmeal kind of colour. These ones are from, um, they're actually from Spain, they're my parents, so I have no idea about those. But these my mum actually got in Primark years ago, like so long ago from Primark, so that was pretty good. Um, and then I've just got a few little trinkets here, some matches, hand creams, lip balms. Oh, I nearly dropped my phone. Just things that I use kind of all the time and then this dish is from H&M Home which is also really old and then this is kind of like the main area of my room I would say um it's kind of the biggest space I'll just show you it full so let's just go straight in oh to the headboard um Lara Dute is where it's from I will link everything below um I absolutely love it it's incredible so big and oh I just love it um and then over here all my picture shelves are from Desenio and so are all the frames in terms of the paintings I actually did that one and that one which is why they are rubbish this one is from Pinterest I actually just printed that out and then my little vase is from Anissa Kamish the pampas is from eBay I think just do a close-up for you see the little vase it's so cute um, and then my side tables, I actually just typed in marble side table with black legs into Google and they just came up on this random website and they were really cheap. So I thought, well, I'll just see what they're like. And I love them. They're really heavy, um, which makes them feel a bit more expensive, but they're actually not available anymore. So I will link some similar ones. This statue is actually my parents. They bought it at a vintage fair, I think, many, many years ago. 
and then my bedding so I don't know where these are from these are really old I don't actually like them I wouldn't like to change them um but these cushions are from well cushion covers are from H&M Home again and then my bedding is from Piglet in Bed which I will link a blog post where I go into like loads of detail about the linen bedding because it is quite expensive but I do think it's a really good investment to have um hello there <laughs> Um, to have a really nice set of bedding. But also H&M Home do some incredible options if you don't want to spend that much. Um, this blanket is from a company called Linen Me and oh, it's amazing. It's merino wool and it has a little, there we go. Um, I just really love it. I think it fits really nicely with this kind of color palette. And then my vase is from H&M Home and these flowers are from Freddie's Flowers. They're beautiful. I love just having the little pop of colour in the corner. I think it looks really nice. So yeah, that is my bedroom. My bathroom's in there, so that's a mess. So I'm not going to show you that right now. But yeah, that's my whole bedroom. So pretty simple. It's pretty plain, pretty minimal. But I will go into more detail about um, where everything's from. And I'll show you kind of how I keep stuff organised and things like that. Hopefully I can get some more bits. So things that I need to do I need to paint this sand it down get some new thingies because I really don't like these um I need to fill in some artwork I've got a picture there and a picture there that need filling I also want to get some wall lights because you notice I don't have any lamps so I'm going to get some wall lights to go either side up there I want black ones but I just can't find the right ones um oh and I also want to change that because that is horrible I got that when I was like 12, when I thought it was really cool. So yeah, I'm gonna go have some dinner and then I'll do my nighttime routine with you. Okay, we're in the bathroom. It's such a mess in here and I'm sorry it's quite dark. The lighting's not great in here. Um, But I'm just gonna take off my makeup. So taking off my makeup is usually the first thing I do for my routine, my nighttime routine. Um, I'm just gonna wash my hands though because I've kind of got into a routine of washing my hands and I don't know, I can't get out of it now. Like every time I go to do my makeup or take my makeup off, I have to wash my hands first. I never used to really do that, but now I'm like, how didn't I do that? So, um, I'm just gonna dry those a little bit and then I'm just gonna grab a flannel. I get all of mine from Primark. Um, I usually have one for every day. Sometimes I have two for every day. Um, but yeah, I just think it's good to have a fresh one for each time you touch your face. So I'm just gonna put on some warm water and just wet that a little bit. And I'm just gonna put some water on my face. I haven't got loads of makeup on today, but I got a bit. So, I've been using some new products and I've been really, really excited to talk about them. Um, so this is the cleanser that I've been using. It's the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Cleanser and it's the Daily Foaming Wash. This is honestly my new favorite product. You need like the tiniest bit, honestly. It is so, I don't know if you can kind of see, it's like an oil base but it has a really gentle exfoliation. Um, and I actually saw on Donna's Instagram, I'll link her below. Um, she is just, oh, I just love her, she's amazing. She um, was talking about cleansing and she was saying that you should really kind of spend quite a long time cleansing your skin. And I never really thought about that before. Like usually, I've just kind of like put my cleanser on, washed it off. But she said, when you're applying your cleanser, you should really like massage it into your skin and yeah, just really like get the cleanser working basically. And I was just like, wow. So this is my first cleanse just to get my makeup off really. Um, so then I just take my flannel and just, wipe around my face my skin does go quite red when i um do this 
because I'm obviously like rubbing it and I like using a flannel because I feel like my skin needs quite a lot of exfoliation um so this is just kind of like an additional texture because it's quite rough it just feels really nice on the skin so that's my first cleanse and then um I usually do a second cleanse I'm actually just gonna do a second cleanse with the same product because um my other cleanser has run out so I'm gonna use this again I only really do a second cleanse when I um, have makeup on because sometimes I do one cleanse, get the makeup off, and then I don't really feel like my skin is clean. But obviously you don't want your skin to be like tight and really clean and dry. You just want it to be like a little bit more clean. So I'm just gonna massage that in a little bit. And then I just do the same thing and just rinse that off. Oh, there's no better feeling than taking your makeup off. Okay. So, I'm then just gonna wait till my face is dry. I don't like using a towel because I feel like it might have bacteria on it and I don't actually clean my towels every single day. So I'd rather just let my skin kind of like naturally dry. Um, but yeah, the actual quality of my skin is so much better. I do suffer from breakouts quite a bit and I do have quite a lot of scarring, but um, my skin feels so soft and yeah, I'm really, really happy with how these products have been working for my skin. Obviously everyone's skin's different, so it's not gonna work for everyone. Everyone's gonna have different skin types and different things are gonna work for everyone. But I've just been really loving, oh, you know when your hair is so tight, you need to take it out. Oh. Um, yeah, I've just been really loving this skincare routine at the moment. My skin is, my face is really pale. I did my tan the other day, but my I didn't do my face. So I'm gonna add a couple of drops of my tan to my face tonight. Um, okay, so my skin is dry now. I'm gonna go in with, not that, where is it, here we go. I'm using the Dior Prestige eye cream. Um, Le Microcellum de Rose You. I am not very good at accents. So it has these kind of like cooling beads and it is really, really cooling onto your eye, which I really like. I mean, you're probably meant to do this more in the morning um, because it's kind of depuffing. I do use this one in the morning, but um, I also really like it in the evening. I just, sometimes I have quite sensitive eyes and I sometimes find that some eye creams are a bit too, like night eye creams are a bit too thick so they get in my eyes and they really sting like once I get into bed I'm like, oh my eyes so oh, I actually feel really tired this evening um, I don't know why okay, so that's my eye cream done then I'm gonna go in with my serum. The serum I'm using is the Kate McIver Secret Weapon. I have been using this for, I think a year now, and I will never not use this. This is incredible. This is the limited edition one. Honestly, oh my God. I just, it's so good. It really kind of like hydrates your skin without being greasy. It has incredible um, 
before and after photos. It's so amazing for breakouts I found and like kind of acne skin and scarring, dark spots. It's just really, really nice. I use it in the morning and the evening. Um, and yeah, I just love it. So I'm just kind of doing a little bit of drainage in my face, not a lot, just a tiny bit, just as I'm massaging that into my face. If you really like skincare um, and like finding out more about products and things like that, like knowledge, I would really, really recommend you following Emma. I don't know how to say her surname. Hero, maybe. Um, sorry, Emma. I just really ruined that. But um, she is incredible. She does a Sunday school on her Instagram stories. I watch it every week. And I really, really love her Instagram. So, yeah. Once that's all kind of blended in. I do sometimes use a jade roller as well, by the way. I usually use that in the morning because it's really nice. Oh, that's not Really nice to deep have. Um, so I use that serum. I do sometimes use other serums as well, but I just want to show you what I'm doing at the moment and not kind of like confuse the situation. Um, but this is like my really simple what I'm doing. So I'm then using the Kate Somerville um, Exfoliate Glow Moisturizer. You only need a tiny bit of this. I literally use like that much. Um, and then I just kind of just tap that around my face and then I just blend that in. I love this moisturizer. So Kate Somerville kindly sent me these products to try and I'd never tried them before, but I've always looked at the brand and thought I'd love to try it. Um, it's got amazing reviews and I can see why. Oh my God, I adore these products. They, are, they feel so luxurious, but they've really, really transformed my skin. Okay, so then I am gonna put a couple of drops of the Tan Lux, the face illuminating self tan drops. Um, so you you are meant to mix this with moisturizer, but I just do it after my moisturizer. I'm just gonna do two drops. Don't wanna go crazy, and then just add that like I would any other serum. Um, and yeah, that is after this. That's it. So I don't use tons of products. I just. I feel like my skin works ooh, much better when it's pretty simple. Always make sure you wash your hands after using tan. I forgot to wash my hands the other day when I turned my body and that's why my hands are looking a little bit bad, um, which I really hate. I just don't think that's a good look at all. So I'm a bit annoyed that I did that, but yeah. That is my nighttime skincare routine. I also do the same thing in the mornings. I just sometimes change up the eye creams, um, but I don't do the tan drops in the mornings. So yeah, I'm actually just gonna pop on a lip balm. Um, my favorite brand of lip balm is Lano Lips. I love them. I literally have these everywhere. I'm always buying new ones. Like, well, before this, when I was out, I'd always pick up a new one, uh, just in case. Mm, so nice okay so that's that um i'm actually gonna do a little treatment in my hair tonight nothing major just something small um before i wash it in the morning so i'll show you what i do i've just changed up the direction a little bit so um i did a hair mask a couple of days ago so i'm not gonna do a hair mask but my um the ends of my hair are feeling a little bit dry I haven't really been using any heat on my hair, really, um, for the past month. I've been literally not blow drying it at all. I haven't really been curling it, I've just been putting it in a bun. So, 
it does feel much better but i'm just going to pop on a couple of drops of this this is the percy and reed wonder treatment oil plus as you can see i love this i've used it loads so i'm just going to put a few drops um and yeah you are I was just going to say you are um i do actually use this after i wash my hair i put like three drops just in the ends um because it just makes it feel so silky but not greasy my hair gets very greasy um and yeah this is the only oil i found that doesn't make it greasy so yeah i'm just gonna do this and then that's me done i'm just gonna brush it through this brush is from um there's a wet brush so it's got these kind of like see-through bits so that when you brush your hair when it's wet the water kind of like flies through it and it dries your hair quicker okay so that's that i usually put my hair in a plait or something like that but i'm just gonna put it in a bun because i'm not actually going to sleep yet and yeah that is literally my nighttime skincare it's pretty easy really I don't really use a whole lot of products. I just think do what works for your skin. And I'm just really, I love my evening skincare. Oh, this scrunchie is from the Napco, an amazing brand. Really, really love their silk scrunchies. I wear them all the time. So yeah, that's it, I'm done. Have a lovely evening and I will see you in my next video. Bye.